so now we are going to discuss the indo gangetic planes so here the indo indo gangetic planes are called also northern planes these northern planes formed due to the interaction of the three himalayan rivers interaction of the three himalayan river rivers so that's why the northern planes were formed here so what are the rivers means one is indus river and uh, other one is ganga and here in eastern side brahmaputra river brahmaputra river so the northern plains in the beginning stage 20 million years ago this northern plains was shallow basin and it was gradually filled with the alluvial soil by the himalayan rivers so here geographically these northern plains divided into three parts one is western part central part and uh, eastern part so here the western part the indus river basin formed by the indus river and its tributaries the indus river basin the west the west part indus river basin formed by the indus river and its tributaries the indus river tributaries are jhelum chinab ravi bias and satluj so the indus river basin mostly existed in pakistan so that's why here the indus river called the lifeline of pakistan and small that means minor portion existed in india in punjab and also haryana so in this place in this region we can see do of do of do of means a fertile land between two rivers fertile land between two rivers it is called do of it's a hindi word do means to of means water so next central these central plains are formed due to the ganga this central these central plains formed by the ganga river so these ganga river plains existed that means extend from gogra river gogra river to tista river this ganga river plains existed that means extend from gogra river to tista river so these uh, ganga river basin some spread some states uh, that is up bihar and west bengal jharkhand and some portion haryana so here yamuna river is the main tributary of ganga river and uh, sun sun and kosi rivers are tributaries of yamuna yes next to uh, eastern part the eastern part mostly existed in the brahmaputra valley of assam so here the brahmaputra river is the responsibility of its formation yes right here so these are himalayan rivers while flowing down they deposited gravel pebble and sediments in the narrow belt in the width of 18 to 16 kilometers at the foot of shivalik at the foot of shivalik so this region is called babar and some small rivers and streams flow underground through the baba and then reappear in lower area and form swampy and marshy so that is called terai that region called terai swampy marshy means wet region so here this terai region had a thick forest in the partition movement this terai region had a thick forest and a variety of wildlife in the partition movement when india divided into two one is pakistan one is india in that time the government has been cleared this forest because of agriculture because of development for agriculture who came to india in the partition time 
lakhs of people came to India from Pakistan. So for those migrants, the government has been clear the forest for agriculture. So this is the topic about Indo-Gangetic Plains.